Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a RC civil shear wall design with boundary elements. This is the shear wall. Shear wall is generally used in multi-story building to resist the earthquake load or electrical forces. Right? So you have to input your data that the height of the building, the length of the shear wall, the width of the shear wall, FC and F5 value for which we are going to design. So step one is as per we will use this code that is 13920-2016 as per the clause number this much 10.21 we will find the effective depth, factor bending moment and factor shear force. Section classification this is given by these clauses that the thickness value and this should be satisfied. Next we will design for the shear reinforcement that is the horizontal reinforcement this is the horizontal and this green one is the horizontal reinforcement we are going to provide how much the reinforcement for the we are going to provide right in the step 3 we, this has been calculated in the step 4 the minimum vertical reinforcement the vertically reinforcement should be calculated the shear check should be there that we have provided the horizontal reinforcement it is accurate or we have to increase it then the boundary element check so boundary element it should be provided or not it will be given by this sheet for which the boundary element is also designed for extra reinforcement and for extra movement we have to provide extra reinforcement in boundary element right so next is the design of boundary element as a short column we will design the boundary element as a short column okay and the check for the tension is there and finally the step 10 the confining reinforcement in the boundary element for which the boundary element is provided and for which this confining reinforcement that is the stirrups for the boundary elements will be provided right so let's start you have to put your data in these pink cells right so this is the load that is the actual load or dead load and live load we have to put your values by calculating so 2400 kN of the dead load and due to earthquake load what is the actual load comes on the building is 460 kN right Okay, we have already calculated this. So, bending moment due to dead load and live load is 610. And earthquake due to earthquake load, this is 5120. And shear force due to dead load and live load is 25 kN. Newton. In this case, you can put your data according to your calculation. And for due to earthquake load, shear force comes on the building is 750 kN. Newton. Right, we have put our data. Now, the height of the building is 9 meter. So, 9 meter we have to put okay length of the wall that is the shear wall we are going to design the length is around 4 meter okay the thickness of the wall in this case is 250 m so we have to put 250 m and the fck we are going to use m25 and fe415 right so now we use the step one these all things have been calculated by this clause number this much so effective depth dw is given by this formula 0.8 into lw lw is the length of the shear wall so this is 3200 in this case mw is the factor bending moment this is 1.2 times so bending moment due to dead load and live load that is 610 and plus bending moment due to earthquake load so this is 6876 and the shear force this is also 1.2 times the shear force due to dead load and live load that is 25 kN newton and shear force due to earthquake load so these values have been calculated now section classification has already been calculated TW that, that is the thickness of the shear wall should be greater than 150 mm right so in this case this is greater than 150 mm that is ok so in our case we have chosen 250 mm so lw by tw value should be greater than 4 in our case this is 16 that is also okay hw by lw now this has been given in this format by the clause number 10.1.4 of code if h by lw is less than 1 this is squat wall if this comes between the 1 and 2 this is intermediate wall and if it is greater than 2 this is slender wall so now in this case it has been slender wall so right if we change the value this is hw by lw if we change the h lw value 6 meter then it is intermediate wall right so now in our case is 4 meter so next is the design for the shear reinforcement tau value has been calculated that is vu by tw into dw 
VU has already been calculated as this much factor shear force by this formula 930 kN and TW thickness of the wall and DW effective depth regarding the 3200. So 1.45 is the T tau V value and tau C is given by this formula 1.25. Tau C max in 125 case that is the maximum shear stress this is 3.1 right. So it is a note that tau V is greater than 0.25 square square root of FCK or TV is greater than 200 m right so both conditions should be satisfied in our case TV is 250 m right so then this will be there then the steel will be provided in two cutting layers right TW is less than 200 m or 200 m then the steel will be provided in single layer what is this is this is like if you provide the steel that will be provided in two layers like this and if it is less than 200 mm then the single layer will be provided right no two layer because the thickness is very less so the steel will be provided in two cutting layer so maximum bar dia maximum bar dia is tw by 10 so 25 mm it is the maximum bar dia we have to choose for vertical or horizontal both this is the maximum volume so we have to use lesser than this so step 4 is maximum spacing of the vertical and horizontal bars this has been calculated by these formulas so maximum spacing is been come that is the least of the above 3 values right LW by 5 is 800 mm T 3 times of TW is 750 mm 450 mm so it is least so it should not be greater than 450 mm it should always be less than the spacing should always be less than for both vertical and horizontal bar should be less than 450 mm okay so horizontal reinforcement given by this table one for the cylinder wall in our case this is the cylinder wall so this is by given by this 0 0.0025 plus this formula and in this case this value is 0 which value so in our case this value is 0 then 0 0.0025 0 0.25 percent is the rho minimum in horizontal direction so horizontal shear reinforcement is calculated as 0.25 percent so this is the formula rho h minimum into b into tw we are calculating for one meter width tw is the thickness of the wall and assume the dia if we are assuming the dia as 10 mm so 251 mm right spacing has been calculated and it has been provided in two cutting layer so it is according to two cutting layer right we have to provide our spacing 250 mm so we have to check it is check shear check is okay only and minimum horizontal vertical reinforcement this is also given by this formula we have chosen as 0 0.0034 percent this has been calculated 10 if you choose 10 mm 180 mm vertically in two cutting layer how shear check is done that is 0.34 percent and in table 19 we have calculated for tau c value is 0 0.401 this is point so shear bars are required because tau v value is we have already calculated tau v value is 1.16 so tau v is greater than tau c value so shear bars are required so what we have done the shear taken by the steel given by this 609 kN so as we spacing is given by this formula we have already known this so we have calculated AH by SV required so what we have provided in the horizontal reinforcement that is the this much of horizontal steel so AH by SV is calculated as 0 0.527 that is required and we have provided AS by SV AS by SV that is this is 250 is the spacing right so 0 0.628 so it should always be greater than this then this is okay otherwise it will be increase the reinforcement right if we change our values that if we change the value of like uh, the dead load and live load by 3000 this much is 2300 then these values has been changed this is a cylinder wall steel will be in two cutting layer Aiden. this is increase the horizontal shear reinforcement right so we have to increase the reinforcement we have to provide the 628 mm square so shear check is being done 
so next uh, in the next part we will calculate for the boundary element check it boundary element shall be provided in this case also so we have to provide the size of the boundary element we will calculate the flexor strength the extra moment for which the boundary element is to be reinforced and the design of the boundary element as a short column we have to put our data according to the reinforcement in the boundary element check for tension will be done and the confining reinforcement for boundary element this is the ties the spacing of the ties will be calculated finally so we have now in this first part we have calculated this shear wall reinforcement in horizontal and vertical direction so 10 mm bars 180 mm center to center of the vertical direction and 10 mm bars 250 mm center to center in horizontal direction so friends if you like this video if you want this actual sheet please subscribe this channel and contact me on my whatsapp number and my mail id and thanks for watching